Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni, and we're going to look at a really easy breathing and compression sequence to help to lengthen the sides of the neck to try to release the scalenes. So a lot of us use the scalenes and the shoulders and the neck to breathe. And that creates a lot of tight muscles around the neck. And it also pulls and holds the diaphragm up because the fascia um, of the diaphragm is very intimate with all of the, the fascia of the scaling. So if we're really tight in the neck, we can rest assured that our diaphragm is also tight. So this is a way not only to lengthen the sides of the neck and release the scalings, but also to release the diaphragm. So you're supine, legs should be comfortable and supported, just letting the pelvis fall into gravity. And then you're gonna take one heel of your hand and you're gonna place it on your breastbone. And then you're gonna take the other hand over that one. So you are your own massage therapist here. You wanna inhale into the back sides of your ribs. And then on the exhale, you wanna imagine that you're gliding your breastbone down and away. Like the breastbone is on a water slide and you're sliding the breastbone down into the back of your rib cage. You hold what you found and you keep the pressure. Inhale, backside ribs. And then on the exhale, opening the mouth and just imagining the breastbone falling heavy, heavy into the back of the rib cage. Again, hold what you found, inhale and feel that expansive breath, that broadening of your back body. And then exhale, keep dropping the breastbone. You wanna keep cycling the breath. So as you're dropping the breastbone down and into your back body, you wanna think of the back of the neck and the back of the head traveling in the opposite direction. And then that inhale, keeping the pressure is really important because that inhale as the diaphragm goes down creates even more length and opposition in your upper body. So you could do six, seven, eight breath cycles of that leading your clients into that length from inside their body. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.